Uh, hey guys, welcome to NFTX's third weekly governance call. Uh, it is now Wednesday the 3rd. If anyone would like to join, there will be another call next week. And uh, as of now, every Wednesday at 4 p.m. UTC, uh, there's going to be a link in the description with multiple links, I guess, to the forum for governance and also to the link meeting for next week's meeting. All right. Uh, I'm going to jump straight into what we uh, did last week that was important. So uh, the main points were different proposals and also opening up the front end that is now open source. And like we need a lot of people to look into that if they have the skills. I mean, the more eyes, the better. Uh, I think Alex is not proud of the work he, he did. And uh, I don't have the skills to be able to tell him if he should or not be. But yeah, uh, that's a good step to being more decentralized. We now have an open source front end. We also have people working on uh, a gallery. So I think the, the front end is going to come along uh, pretty nice. Uh, also, if anyone has anything they want to talk about, please uh, propose. I don't see any raised hands. So I'm just going to go ahead and pass it on to uh, Chop Chop who's just going to quickly cover last yeah. week's in review. Yeah, cool. Uh, so I don't know uh, if everybody has read it. Uh, it's uh, redundant for you guys, but uh, it's just a, like a, a part of this call is looking back at what we uh, pushed last week. Uh, last time I went over all the content, uh, but uh, now I'll keep it a bit shorter, uh, just covering the topics. So uh, mainly uh, the NFTX galleries um, are very much in progress and there's an entire squad working on it daily uh, to push that live, which in its MVP stage, so uh, minimum viable product, it will be mainly a gallery. So uh, to show which NFTs visually are in a certain fund, but it has the potential to evolve in the actual product for uh, investors and people that are wanting to create funds to use as the like the main product of NFTX. Uh, you can check out the like work in progress uh, by a link in the blog. Uh, so it's, it's really cool. Uh, and they're aiming at uh, pushing that live as soon as possible so that we can get user feedback in. Um, then there's the rebrand, of course, which I'll cover later uh, in its entirety. Uh, Frontend is open sourced, so that's kind of important uh, right now because the closed uh, front ends came or introduced a lot of uh, like uh, slow pace within the entire DAO. And now that it's open, it's, uh, it should uh, go much faster uh, fixing bugs and feedback. Um, then we introduced a new topic in the weekend review, which is called NFT news. So instead of only zooming in on the what was done uh, in re direct relation with NFTX, uh, Javery and Eddie thought it would be cool to also feature some more broader info about the NFT landscape, uh, such as like a uh, release of hash masks, uh, which was kind of couldn't really have missed that, I think. Uh, same for the drop from Pranksy uh, and the NBA top shot being work in progress at the moment. It's going to take a while. Uh, we're in talks with the Flow team to build a bridge and essentially between uh, Ethereum and Flow, because Flow is a different blockchain, uh, to see if we can make an uh, NBA top shot funds happen someday in the future. Uh, I wouldn't really want to say uh, like a, a timeline for that because it's so early in, uh, in the discussions. Uh, and then lastly, I've been pushing out some video tutorials on how to use the current front end, uh, which is mandatory for people to know because it's without this information, you can't really arbitrage uh, prices. So the first two have been released, one going into how you mint a fund token and the other one going into how you redeem an NFT when you already have a fund token. Uh, I'll be doing the same for uh, the process from D1 fund tokens to D2, like a top level fund tokens. 
Uh, and I'll probably do everything again when we have a different front end uh, with the new brand and all that, uh, all that kind of stuff. So that's it for we can review. Yep. So uh, I think tutorials and educational content is a great way to push NFTs and the product forward. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I think we all saw the hash mask release. And the DAO is currently planning on uh, starting a basic hash mask fund. So having content that would allow users to know how to participate is very important. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. So I'm, I'm uh, writing a blog post either this evening or tomorrow morning on uh, hash mask specific usage of the pool. So to give some context on this pool, uh, because we use the Aragon DAO interface, it takes super long to uh, create new pools because creating a new fund uh, is paused at the moment. Uh, so the only way to do that is through DAO, uh, da the DAO contract, and that's uh, on a delay. So right now, I think we're something like 20 hours from releasing the fund technically, and then also implementing it on the front end should take a uh, few minutes, I guess. Uh, so, uh, but to support that, I'm, I'm writing a blog post essentially for the Hasmask community, so they know how to uh, use the pool once it's there. I, I, I think that's great. And uh, you also posted a uh, proposal, a draft proposal oh, today, yeah, uh, yeah. regarding uh, like liquidity allocation. Mm -hmm. So one thing I wanted to preface, like we can't also allocate any liquidity ourselves to Hashmas because we didn't raise a bounty for Hashmas, so the DAO does not have any to put up. Mm -hmm. So the 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 most important thing like what you're doing is creating content so the Hashmas community can like bootstrap the pool themselves. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh should I should I give some context on this proposal? Uh, Yep, absolutely. Okay, so uh, it's it's. I think pub I published it two hours ago or one hour ago, but essentially it's a proposal or like a draft proposal uh, to discuss on the forum to uh, allocate the remaining ETH of our treasury that we got from the community raise uh, to or across all the uh, funds which are currently on hold. So we, uh, not everybody will probably know, but we did a community raise where uh, part of it was raising in ETH against NFTX and the other half was raising in NFTs uh, against, uh, and uh, like if people feel they put a bounty, they would get NFTX back, um, which uh, leaves us with a lot of NFTs currently in the treasury, which we want to uh, uh, provide liquidity for, because that's the main product. Um, and the split in liquidity of the EVE side is currently being uh, discussed on the forum. So there's a, uh, a spreadsheet that I made, which breaks down uh, all the EVE we have for this, or uh, like a, it's not all the EVE, but it's a, a lot of EVE. Uh, and allocate it to different categories so that we can move forward with launching the actual funds to uh, general public. So that's it. So if you if you have any like uh, insights that I might have missed when I built this proposal, or you have any uh, experience in liquidity providing as a like a LP, uh, please do so uh, and add comments and wh uh, whatnot. Uh, so we can draft it into a final proposal to then uh, vote on. Yeah, I want to reiterate the fact that getting constant feedback from different people mm -hmm. is, is important. And that's uh, what I'm going to lead into. So like my governance framework and process proposal has been up on discourse for a while now. Yeah. But because it's such a long standing like thing, I'm very OK with it being used as a basis for like current proposals and see how they are pushed and how they function. Mm -hmm. And uh, for now it's it's been working great and I'm just waiting to see if there's more input and if there's not, then I'll just push it to snapshot at some point. Uh, so yeah, those are I think uh, two of the most important proposals at the meantime. And you also posted the proposal about your rebrand, uh, but 
I mean, that's pretty much uh, determined already. Yeah, yeah, that that proposal is. Uh, it's, it's very past, but yeah. because it's 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 current, mm -hmm. uh, like that's why I wanted to to bring it back. And yeah. I think someone posted to it uh, in the past twenty four hours. No, someone else had uh, made a, a comment on it as well. Oh. And then I also have a proposal that I was working on with Owen for gas reimbursements and grants for developers and people that would like to try things with the smart contract. So uh, we're just like Owen has been uh, helping Alex out. So we're just trying to see how much it's been costing him in gas and stuff before deciding on framework. So we're just getting more I mean, data basically. Yep. Uh, I also wanted to mention uh, Notion. So whoever's been contributing, if you're not part of the Notion board, just send me a message. Uh, I think there's some spots left, but uh, I, it's not infinite. But yeah, mm -hmm. actually, it, it may be public also to, to check it out. So yeah, yeah. I, I, we don't really have a roadmap yet, but uh, we can start building at we can start building that at some point and open up really to the public. Yep. Uh, yeah, I'll provide it uh, in a in a few minutes when I pass it back to Chop or Chop uh, if you can provide it. Uh, which one, the gallery one? Because uh, from the public one, uh, I know that the gallery one is public. Uh, the rest, I don't think. Yeah, the the gallery one. Yeah, the, uh, I'll get it. Um, it's there. You go. So yeah, if there's any like side projects and stuff that uh, people can accomplish there, that's uh, great. It's yep. always a useful contribution. Uh, and then uh, I'd like to open up an extremely important governance point. And if anyone has an idea for this, I mean, this would be a great time to start drafting ideas since we're opening up a new liquidity pool. Mm -hmm. um, like, what should we do for farming? Like, yep. if anyone has any ideas, input would be really good. So yeah, that's just um, the last thing I wanted to say before passing it up to Chop. Just yeah. think about farming. Just some uh, some points. Farming for me is very much the next step to the current proposal I, I pushed today uh, because the inherent problem of the current proposal is that we, as a DAO, lack liquidity to make like a, like a real impactful uh, liquidity pool for all the NFTs. Uh, because like if, if you would want to sell, for instance, uh, a zombie punk into the like zombie, uh, zombie pool, you would lose a lot of money against just listing it on the secondary exchange and wait because of the slippage you'd get uh, by having too little liquidity. And farming is one of the solutions to that. Uh, so that's definitely something I'm gonna uh, work on in the next few weeks, uh, at least after this week, because this week is mainly uh, branding for me. Uh, but after that week, uh, I have enough time to give my inputs to that too. Yeah, I think so. Farming and basically giving out and diluting the DAO like mm -hmm. of its own tokens should basically be used for gaining value or solving problems. Yep. And if we don't have liquidity for a pool, being able to provide that from other users is, is a great way mm -hmm. to, to use farming correctly. Yes. And that's also one idea. Like if you incentivize the hash mask pool, mm -hmm. I mean, I think there's going to be usage for sure. But if you incentivize it, I think the usage would be extremely high in percentage drives in percentage wise of hash mask holders. Yep. Agree, agree. Should yeah. I uh, just pick up uh, further yep. with the rebrand stuff? Okay. Yep. Uh, so um, yesterday was the first live stream of our rebrand project. Uh, some context on the rebranding and why it's needed is uh, NFTX started out with a logo picked by Alex, which we didn't own. Uh, and if there's one thing you don't want to do in the art world, world it's using stuff without uh, uh, having the license to do so. So like from the get-go, we knew that uh, after launch, uh, we would have to make this a priority, which uh, I picked up, I made the proposal and I got voted in to lead this. Uh, and this week is essentially the 
end result of that or the final phase of that, uh, but also the starting phase. Uh, so I'm working together with an artist called uh, Ben Pierrot. He's uh, fairly known in the industry. Uh, you might know him from the Dai logo or from our Zora, uh, so the NFT uh, product. Uh, and this week I'm working together with him, uh, both on stream and off stream uh, to come up with the new visual identity of NFTX, uh, which is mainly uh, like the, the, yeah, the, the, the feel you'd get when you get, when you look at the new brand, but also a new logo, uh, and new design, uh, like elements that we can then implement into our products. Uh, so social, uh, the gallery, for example, the new front end, all that kind of stuff. Uh, so that's what I've been doing this week and I will do for the rest of the week. Uh, yesterday was the first live stream which was mainly uh, an ideation session. So uh, on Monday, we talked a lot about what type of feel would you want people to get uh, when they see NFTX and what's important for the DAO and what is NFTX in general, uh, like uh, giving the designer an understanding of uh, what we do. Uh, and yesterday that resulted into a lot of uh, like sketching and drafting IDs. Uh, which is uh, watchable on Twitch. So uh, yesterday I made a tweet, I think, uh, with a link to that. I'll post a, a, post a link here too in the chat uh, after I I'm done talking, uh, which is a four hour session of just me and him uh, vibing and uh, he designing and me giving input. Um, and at the end of that, we came up with a lot of concepts, I think, we are zooming in at three or four concepts, which some of them are highly abstract, uh, but appealing. And some of them are more, uh, yeah, more based on what we made a mood board for. Uh, but yet uh, tomorrow is really going to be the live stream where we decide things and pick a final direction and then uh, move into the final uh, deliverables, essentially. So if you wanna, um, if you wanna watch it back, please do. If you have opinions or ideas uh, for tomorrow's session, please uh, watch the live stream back and either provide me with feedback in a DM or on the forums. Uh, so in the in the branding proposal uh, in the comments, you can leave your comments. Uh, so we built the brand together. Oh yeah, the last thing for that is uh, because it's live streamed, you can actually join the live stream while it's live and uh, uh, chat with him and me. Uh, so you can provide like real time feedback to what we're doing, uh, which a lot of pe people did yesterday, uh, which is great because that's how we envisioned, uh, we wanted to redesign the brand is with the actual DAO and inputs from the community, uh, which happens quite a lot. So that's cool. Um, so yeah, that's it. Uh, looking forward to tomorrow. Tomorrow it starts at, the stream starts around 5 p.m. my time. Uh, so that's CET uh, until I think 12 or the something. Same, the same time as this, uh, so 4 p.m. Yes. PC. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then it lasts, I think the la live stream is supposed to last eight hours. So it's gonna, I need some Red Bull probably, or a lot of coffee uh, to outlive this phase, but it's it's fine, it's fun. So uh, that's the branding thing. There was another topic, no? Uh, just your thoughts on the gallery. And oh, like my thoughts on the gallery. How, how we can yeah. like also maybe communicate that yeah, so um, it's quite unsure yet for me when they release the gallery. Um, uh, but right now it's it's looking good. Uh, I gave some input yesterday too uh, on like making it even more visually appealing and giving bringing more context to people that land on that site and have no clue what it is and what NFTX is. Uh, so I think that's kind of uh, 
useful to have there. Um, so that's that's my opinion at the moment. Uh, for it to really work, we need the D2, the other categories live, because otherwise it will just be a gallery for CryptoPunks, essentially. Uh, and it really starts to show its uh, full potential when... There, there would also be hash masks. Yeah, yeah, yeah uh, maybe. Yeah, I think yeah. they mentioned that. Yeah, so if if they can pull that off, uh, that would be great um, for sure. Uh, if if the hash mask mask pool itself uh, gets used, of course, uh, because we don't bootstrap that. Um, but yeah, so that's that's my current uh, current thought process of it. And from there on, I think the most important thing of the gallery going live is uh, getting user feedback and seeing why or what parts are used and which parts aren't and uh like if it fails why does it fail uh, what's missing and uh adjust the product roadmap from that uh user voice essentially so yeah that's it all right uh, so i'm now going to open up the call to discussion if anyone has uh, any ideas, this is the, the time. If no one does, then uh, we can also move on. Uh... All right, so just to recap, um, this week, uh, basically, Chop is implementing his past proposal for the rebrand. Mm. Um, Owen is also working with Alex on the contract. Uh, they're like the, one of the contracts is currently paused and that's why the, the DAO has to run the funds themselves. That's why there's the 24 hour time lock at the moment. Uh, then there's also the gallery people who are making the gallery. Mm -hmm. So I do have a, uh, a, a, a thought. Yep, but go ahead because you mentioned the the time thing i think uh we should start a discussion around uh using aragon uh for the things we use it for at the moment because yeah. what i see happening is that uh for a lot of the critical things so for instance um staking the LP tokens on SushiSwap, uh, which you need to do to get on some rewards. Um, all these things don't work with the Aragon uh, frame, like frame integration thing. Uh, so it's m most of the like reasons you, you choose Aragon for, so for security and, uh, and all that kind of thing, we bypass by using Alex, his uh, wallet, because Aragon doesn't support the actions or it takes way too long to uh, uh, to do something because there's like multiple step, steps in calling a contract, for example, which uh, really slows us down, uh, which isn't always a problem, like that the L LP staking could wait two days uh, just for the security purpose. Uh, but it doesn't work with Aragon, so we have to use uh, his wallet now. Uh, but for, let's say, critical things that would leave us exposed to some sort of, I don't know, like uh, attack or whatever in the future, uh, if we have this setup where we have to wait 24 hours uh, before anything can happen, that's kind of, uh, that, that sucks. So I think we should, uh, like source information maybe from other DAOs or whatever uh, to learn what the best practice is to do this kind of stuff. Because I, it ju it's just my gut feeling that this isn't how it's supposed to work. Uh, I might be wrong, but it's just uh, something I want to like, bring yeah. up in the discussion. Uh, absolutely. I mean, there are some decisions that should take 24 hours that end up taking like 48 or whatever yeah. because there's multiple steps involved. Yeah, like the hash mask uh, fund, uh, like normally it wouldn't be a problem because the, the, the stuff is paused at the moment. Uh, but right now 
we have to wait 48 hours to get a pool up, which which is kind of ridiculous, uh, and like slows us down. I so the my only concern would be like how do we implement this without uh, not foregoing security, like basically. Yeah, yeah. But I I completely agree. Like this, the current like uh, way of doing things is not the correct way. No. But how do we fix it? I think there's like uh, multiple very smart people in the in the uh, DAO uh, community, which we can ask. Uh, so I, I think uh, a lot of people from the Urine ecosystem, for instance, are around. Um, I know a lot of people at Sushi, so I can ask them uh, and see what they do, essentially, and then combine all the info and make up our minds what the best would be for our thing. Like, like just select best uh, use cases, the best cases, and uh, discuss those. I think it makes sense. Okay. Well, I think uh, that covers everything for uh, this week's call. If anyone has any questions or comments, if not, yep. Well, thank you very much for participating. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna end the recording here. Oh, well, you can go ahead. Uh, yeah, the there was a uh, bounty where you could buy uh, NFTX with Ethereum, and you could also uh, basically get NFTX in exchange for NFTs, which is how the DAO bootstrapped their NFT liquidity and their S liquidity to start the pools. So like the punk basic pool, uh, punk female, etc., and the punk core punk pool. Nice. Are we done? Yep, I guess so. So I'll end the recording here.